Hey, Mom. Yeah? I want to ask you a question. Of course. Yeah, but this question is awkward. Oh, okay. Well, don't worry about that. Just, do you want to go into your room, or do you want to be? No. Here's fine. I'm just nervous about it. Okay, well, just relax and just know that whatever you say is totally fine and safe. Um, okay. So, I... I stole something. Okay, well, what did you steal? Uh, some money. I see. Where did you steal the money from? From Dad. Oh, well, that's okay. He's an a Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the channel where we have all kinds of crazy fun with creative AI. And today I'm going to teach you a technique which could be used a million different ways with different tools and different tweaks to the process itself. But it's a way to create some videos with dialogue when you're the only producer and you want the voices to be realistic and different and have good quality and have two different characters on the screen talking to one another. So I'm going to show you a simple little workflow using mostly free tools to do that. The only tool that I'm paying for in this particular demonstration is Eleven Labs to create the cloned voices. You could technically use any text-to-speech generator you can find or have access to that might be free to create these voices that aren't your own and still use this technique. But in my case, I want the delivery to sound realistic and if there's emotion, I want the emotion to communicate. So I want to be able to use my own voice file and the speech-to-speech -speech function in Eleven Labs to create an audio file that's going to be more believable or more realistic and not at all sound like AI or mechanical. So to do that, we first need to have a dialogue between these two characters. Now, most people are going to want to write a script and figure out exactly what they're going to say and read it that way, which is probably the smart thing to do. I like to just hit record and make stuff up as I go along and then work it out. So that's what we're going to do here. Any multi-track audio editor and recorder will work for this. I'm going to use Audacity because it is free and very very simple for our purposes to do what we need to do. And basically we're just going to make sure that our microphone's set up and then we're going to hit record and record our dialogue, whether you're making it up or reading a script. One, two, three, four. Hey, Bill. Hey, Ted. No, not Ted. Jeez. We're not starting with Bill and Ted. Hey, Bill. Oh, John, right? Yeah, you know it's John. We talked for like hours last week at that party. Right, right. That was at, uh... Jane's party. Right, Jane. I don't know anyone named Jane. Oh, well, maybe it wasn't you I was talking to. Yeah, because now that I'm thinking about this, you don't look at all familiar. <laughs> you don't look at all familiar either. Okay, I'm going to go now. Okay. The end. Now, I said the end there for a reason that I will tell you later. It's not going to be a part of the regular animation. So now that we've got that track created, we need to separate the voices. And I tried to record them with the space in between them so that I could visually see where to make these cuts. Super simple here in Audacity. We just find the space where we need to cut. We hold down the control and the I key and it makes a cut. And we just want to make sure that we're cutting in the right places and not in the middle of a character's talking. So every now and then I'm going to check it like right now. Okay, so now I'm going to create another track and our conversation goes back and forth like this. So I'm going to take every other clip and drag it down to the second track. The advantage of doing it this way is because now we can overlap conversation instead of it having to be a clean break so it sounds way more natural. So now I have the two tracks and they're separated out. Now I need to save them each out individually because we're going to clone them each separately with different voices. And when we do it this way, the timing is already there. So it will be no more timing editing later. First, we're going to solo the first track, which is actually the second person talking. We're going to say export audio and we'll call this voice two. And then we will unsolo that and then solo this, export the second track. We'll call it voice one. And now we just load each of these into Eleven Labs and give it the voice we want. So in Eleven Labs, we're going to choose speech synthesis and we're going to choose the speech to speech option. And then we'll just drag voice one MP3 and drop it right there. Make sure it's there. Hey, Bill. It's there. Okay. And then we're going to choose a voice for that person. In this case, I think I'm going to go with Finn, who sounds like this. The world is round, and the place which may seem like the end okay. may also be the beginning. Hit generate. Hey, Bill. Yeah, you know it's John. We talked for like hours last week at that party. Okay, cool. I like that. I'm going to download that. And then clear this out and drag voice two in there and choose a different voice. I'm going to choose Anthony here and click generate. Oh, 
John, right? Jane, I don't know anyone named Jane. Okay, so we'll use that one too. Go ahead and download that. Now we've got the two audio files, and now we just need to animate those suckers. So to do that, we're going to go over to Adobe Express, and I've got the link in the description. This is a free service, and once you get there, you may have to sign up with a free Adobe account if you don't have one. But once you get to this page, you can choose a character, you can choose a background, and then you can choose a size for the animation. So we've got these two male characters talking to each other. However, you can only do one character here at a time. So what we're gonna do is do two videos and then edit them together in CapCut with a simple masking procedure. So first let's choose the characters in the setting. We want two male characters and ideally they're facing each other. I'll go with Blaze here and maybe he is voice two. He looks like the one who is going to be annoyed. We wanna make sure that these characters are on completely opposite sides of the screen because we're gonna basically do a mask right in the middle or at least enough so that you can see both characters when they're fully animated. So you wanna leave plenty of room. We'll keep this guy way over here to the right. We will browse and upload that file we just created and then we wait while it works its magic. Beware, this does take a few minutes, even for a short little video like this. Okay, we got the first pass here, let's take a look. Oh, Chan, right? Right, right, that was at, uh... Okay, so there you go. We're gonna download this one, close that up, and then we're just gonna go back, and we will choose our second character, who is the one doing the annoying. I'm gonna go with Wolfgang, because why not? I'm gonna replace the audio, the voice we did for him, and we wait. Okay, and here's the next one. Hey, Belle. Yeah, you know it's John, we talked. Okay, so we'll download this one, and now we're gonna put them together in CapCut. Once you're at CapCut, you're just going to create new video, and blank canvas is fine. And then we literally just drop the files onto the timeline. We wanna make sure one is on top of the other, and then once we do that, we just need to mask out half of the image that's on top so that we can see the image that's behind it. Super simple to do, just select and then click on basic up here, and then mask will appear. You'll choose horizontal, and then with this rotation icon, you just line this up so that you can see both characters. And then if you want to maybe move this over just to allow for a little bit of room. And because of the way that we recorded it, all the timing is already there. Hey, Belle. Oh, Chan, right? Now let's scroll to the end here where I say the end. Okay. The end. Okay, now the end is not part of this, but if I had not said the end, then this clip wouldn't have lasted long enough and it would have gone blank like this one here. So really what we wanna do is end this clip after this character here says, okay. So let's find that part on the clip. Okay. And I just pause it right there and then I'm just gonna adjust the length of both these clips. Check it. Okay. And that's it. Now we'll go back to the beginning and we'll go to audio and we'll find some music. We'll just search for a silly. We'll listen to a couple of things. Okay, I'll use that one. I'll just click the plus sign. It'll add it to the timeline. Obviously, it's much, much longer than our video clip, so we want to adjust the end of that. And the volume will be too loud too, so we'll select the audio. We will go to basic. We'll take this audio down and we'll just, we'll see how it sounds. Hey, Belle. Oh, John, right? Yeah, you know it's John. We. All right, so we're gonna take it back just a little bit more and then export and that's it. So you click export, you click download, you choose your export settings. You can name it if you'd like. Click on export. It'll give you a little countdown and then you're gonna click download still again. Hey, Belle. Oh, John, right? Yeah, you know it's John. We talked for like hours last week at that party. Right, right. That was at, uh... Jane's party. Right, Jane. I don't know anyone named Jane. Oh, well, maybe it wasn't you I was talking to. Yeah, because now that I'm thinking about this, you don't look at all familiar. <laughs> you don't look at all familiar either. I'm going to go now. Okay. okay. So that's just a fun little technique to create some little video vignettes with dialogue in them if you are a one-person show and maybe you don't do character voices so you let Eleven Labs create the character voice for you. You just do the read and you can always use text-to-speech if you like too. The idea here is to combine multiple characters with different types of speech on the screen at the same time using free or nearly free tools in a really simple fun way. So I hope you enjoyed that and if you think you'll use a technique like that I'd love to know about that or did I completely just 
just waste your time. You know what, if I just wasted your time, I think I'd like you to keep that to yourself. If you subscribe now, I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you do not, I will look for you. I will find you. And I will.